One of the most important features of the Malacat is the ability to have the instrument trained, training the sensitivity and dynamic range of your pads. This tells the Malacat what you call a soft hit and what you call a hard hit, and then it puts your MIDI velocity range within that range. It is so important and um, it is so critical to, to get the most out of the instrument. Now, the way you train the pads on a Malacat, there are three different kinds. If you step on the edit foot switch and hit global and then type in 79, you see a type called groups. And what groups is, is basically training each octave. Why do you do that? Well, because each sensor is an octave long and a sensor can be replaced, it can be different. So this allows you to make them all respond the same. C0 represents the third octave. So if I hit the C on the third octave softly, I hit it once, and then I hit it hard, that pad is trained. Now I can do that for this octave, which is C1 plus 1, and then this octave, which is C plus 2. If I move it again, and you, you can keep on changing the groups by hitting the forward or backwards keys, C minus 2 is for the fifth octave. This is a four octave instrument, so all I need to do is to train the lowest octave. Soft, hard, and it's finished. When you're finally finished, step on the edit, put switch again, and it goes back to normal. So this is how you train each octave. Now, if you don't want to do that, you just want to change the instrument fast or just do the whole instrument at once, you go to 79 again. And if you hit the backwards key, it says to train pads, hit any pad. I can hit any pad, and now I just hit one pad soft, one pad hard, and now the whole instrument is dynamically trained for that pad. If you have a pad that's acting up, that's not responding the same way, there's yet a third way to train that pad. If I hit the forward key, they have the ability to have an individual pad, and we have lots of different pads that you can do it. I think there's some 20 or something or so in there. So if I pick this pad, for example, now that A-sharp pad, I can train it by hitting the soft and hard hit, and that one pad will have a different training than the rest of the instrument. This is particularly good if um, if a pad gets slightly damaged because it got a little wet or because the pad got messed up. So, an incredible feature. You should learn to use this a lot because how you train the Malacat really makes a difference on how it performs.